try and style them and show you how I would wear this when we go to New York. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. I got up, had shower, got ready, and thought I'd start a new vlog here because, well, for several reasons. I'm leaving to New York in two days, so I wanted to kind of like take you with me and show you the full prep and everything I'm doing before I head out to New York for Fashion Week. And I also thought like you guys will probably miss some of the more homey vlogs and videos because I will not be publishing any like home based vlogs throughout the month of September. I'll try and film a few videos like sit down videos where I show you things and present things to you in between like New York and London and when I come back from Milan between Milan and Paris where I have like one day I'll try and film like a sit down video. But today's video is going to be sort of a vlog and I will take you with me and I'll show you as I'm getting ready for New York Fashion Week. I actually received some very exciting pieces that I wanted to share with you and in my last video you guys told me how much you enjoy the styling videos and the process of showing you how I style something so you asked and I'm delivering let's do this also um, some of you mentioned that you think that the other camera is kind of shaky the like a big one that I usually film when I film um, in the mirror so I'm gonna use this one this time and you guys have to let me know which one you prefer yesterday I received a very exciting package and I kind of like nudge myself every time I say this but I'm very very excited for fall or autumn I just love dressing in autumn I love that it's usually like a very kind of like you can play much more with autumnal clothes so over here you'll see that I received two pairs of boots and these are my first pieces for autumn and I cannot wait to show them to you so we got white boots here with the Jimmy Choo logo and we have these black here now if you followed me for a long time you for sure know that Jimmy Choo is the first brand that I've ever worked with I think we started working back in 2011 or 2012 I think I started working with Jimmy Choo in 2012 it was the first brand ever to reach out to me while I was still a pre-reg pharmacist, not even a registered pharmacist. Um, it's a brand that I've loved for so many years and I'm so excited to be able to partner with them. So usually how this works is they would ask me if I like any of their new collection pieces and I have selected a few pieces that I love from the lookbook. So um, they decided to give them to me and I'm very, very grateful for that. So just wanted to be very open uh, about that. Now I'm going to try and style the pieces but so as i said i received two pairs of boots so i received the white boots like smooth leather high heel over here these are called maheza if i'm not mistaken and they have um this new jimmy Choo logo have you seen the new logo it's pretty cool and then i also got these ones over here called brellan probably not pronouncing that properly very cool with the studs and they have like this kind of funky edge at the top. Besides that, I also had my eye on two of their handbags. They basically came up with a new handbag collection called Varen. We have a bowling bag here, which is quite useful because I don't have any bowling bags, first of all, um, to show you. And also, like, I think this one fits quite a lot, like, including the camera and the water bottle, because I now am trying not to ever buy any water, but to always carry bottle that I can refill so that there's less plastics to be wasted. I love this one for autumn. It's also from the Varen family, but it is like a shoulder bag. This can be also worn like this, but you can also fill it up and wear it as this. Don't you think this is just screaming autumn with boots? So I'm gonna try and style them and show you how I would wear this when we go to New York. Hands up if you're also Jimmy Choo handbag fans. You guys know that I have quite a few and I was a fan of Jimmy Choo bags ever since they came out with Rebel. Then Locket Petit, like I have, I think I have three Locket Petit bags. One, two, three, and I don't know how many Rebels I have. I really like these two because, okay, so if you look at the shoulder ones, obviously it comes with a shoulder strap. It's suede, it's brown, inside has a one back zippy pocket. I will link everything below so you can shop them but I'm gonna also show you how I style them and I also like that this one doubles as a clutch. The new logo I think looks very very cool as well so that's wonderful. The bowling bag when you first look at it you might think like mm, I don't know I don't like carrying my bag in the hand like you know like that 
it actually comes with a shoulder strap it has a zippy back pocket and front two pockets uh, it also comes in many different colors and two different sizes so there's like a smaller and a bigger i just think this is great like a dark gray color i don't have anything like that but i would also maybe like it in kind of like a warm burgundy color kaya gerber is the face of their varan campaign and she totally sold it to me so i think it'll be pretty perfect for um street style so let's try and style these bags for fashion week Okay guys, look number one. Wow, this looks almost like a dress. It is a top. This is a monster top, a denim skirt. And then we got my Varen um, shoulder bag and the white boots. I just think like white boots go so well with this because it's kind of like, you know, you could even have like a white skirt, but it's kind of like still a... This also has a belt, by the way. It's still a kind of like transition uh between the seasons you can wear this but in case you are not white boot kind of girl then you have my perfect and favorite autumn look over here like look at how cute this is so we got the boots which are slouchy and very comfortable because the heel is actually very low we got the veran shoulder bag which looks okay it reminds me of jennifer lopez in um get right get right i think it is when she like arrives like so cool with this kind of bag i love this style of the bag like look how amazing it is this would be the look with this kind of stuff like simple black turtleneck that everybody has in their wardrobe denim skirt everybody has in their wardrobe but then you have a bag that is just so cool and effortless that goes with these boots and i think the look is so fabulous and this doesn't have to be necessarily fashion week look this can be any kind of like you know, any week when you want to get like feel a little bit cuter and nicer, this bag can be everyday bag. If you wear it with like flat boots, it can be your every single day bag. Now I think we should also style the bowling bag because I want to show you how I would style it as well. Before we continue with showing you um, Varen bowling bag, I wanted to show you the look. Just still a bit autumnal, maybe a little bit more winterish because it's an all white look. So I'm wearing the white boots white trousers these are just like simple zara trousers this knit is from my friend lovely peppers collection i just looked for the first thing in my wardrobe and then obviously the veren jimmy Choo bag but also bowling bag would actually work here as well what do you prefer with this look the beige sort of camel shoulder bag or the bowling bag this one's a little bit more i think like screaming business yeah it can be worn with either or I find this look so preppy. It's not really like a fashion week look, but it's sort of a preppier, like horse riding type of almost <laughs> look. Same look, same at the bottom, just gray blazer, crop top, and a bowling bag because this would probably be a little bit more um, fashion week appropriate. You could kind of even wear this to work and then afterwards take the blazer off if you have like evening with the girls you know so you have like a crop top underneath i think this is a favorite my favorite way how i would wear the white boots in general with like a light top and a skirt that's a little bit darker because this adds quite a nice contrast so i think in general white boots should be worn with like big white slouchy shirts on top preferably even worn as dresses because i think that's way 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 cooler i've got the Varen bowling bag and the look this look is probably like the most like fashion week appropriate i really like it i think it's quite cute and actually the way i would wear the bag would be sort of like this so i would pretend that it's a clutch just because it adds a bit of a cool oh my god i love styling these things because i think little things can change like a cool look the skirt is louis vuitton the shirt is zara now i feel very very nude i just wanted to show you kind of what i i just wanted to show you what i meant when i said that these could be worn with like longer shirts and i'm gonna style the shirt as well and the bag so you guys can see the total look okay sometimes i like to call myself queen of layering which is not very humble so let's not say that again it makes me feel a bit awkward i just kind of see that to myself with myself when i'm alone and not to anybody else but i love to layer not that i'm particularly the best person at it i just love it here's my very preppy look i've got the zara shirt that i've told you about and the zara skirt i mean look this is a Prada corset that I just got. I haven't styled it properly in terms of like, I need to tuck this in, so I need to pull it at the bottom. 
basically white shirt then the black corset but i'm sure you can find this kind of anywhere i will leave a link for everything below you see what i'm doing here high low right got the jimmy choo white boots got the bowling bag and stella mccartney blazer which i think is the best classic blazer i think stella's tailoring i said this in my previous video is just the best and this would be the total look. I feel like I've done quite a few looks now. I just feel that I haven't done enough color and I want to change that because you guys know how much I love color. So let's do something colorful and show you that I can incorporate all that you've seen here as well with a bit of color. Also wanted to just say that normally like I don't really support fast fashion as much. However, this shirt I've had for two years and this skirt I think the same and I only buy Zara pieces if I'm gonna wear them many times. If I think that I will be able to wear them many times so I try not to throw them away if they rip I repair them and I buy only classics also wanted to say this look would also work with the black boots that I've shown you at the beginning if you're not particularly into white boots white boots are made for colorful looks because they kind of like tone them down and they bring them down so if you want to wear a colorful look during winter months you really need white boots and a gray bag so here is a more colorful look for you to see off like how will i style this one more now this one could be very fashion week appropriate white boots this like knit skirt i love the contrast of the red and this kind of like warm uh, caramel color but the gray bowling bag would work as well so that's it enough with the styling for today i will now go and start preparing other stuff because i have so many logistical logistical like logistics wise things to prepare for the fashion month okay guys i am gonna apologize in advance in case children are screaming outside i'm gonna apologize in advance in case children are allowed outside i just have to kind of work around it so i just wanted to like give you a few little kind of updates on what's going to be happening if you didn't gather that already i will be going to new york in two days like i said for fashion week and then i'll be flying from new york to london and then i have in between new york and london one day press trip it's gonna be fabulous and you will see all about it after that i'll be continuing with london fashion week which i planned to make a little bit shorter this season for some reason london fashion week seems to be a little bit not as relevant for what i personally do just because a lot of brands that i wear tend to be showing in paris and milan and even in new york but I don't like really wear many, many, many brands that are showing in London. However, I still love the London scenes. I love the new designers. I love checking out what's going on and I never miss it. So I will still do three days of London Fashion Week. Then I'm doing Milan Fashion Week, which will be crazier than ever. And then I'm doing Paris Fashion Week, as you guys know, for the full duration of that. After Paris Fashion Week, I will be heading straight from Paris to New York for a job. So currently I don't I will not be having a day off for more than a month and I've actually started working pretty crazily on 15th of August. So it's been kind of like cooking, but I like in, in general I get annoyed so much by people who say like oh my god I work so hard I work so hard don't, don't we all work hard no matter if you work in like Starbucks or McDonald's or if you are like running an office or a company we all work hard just depends in like what fields I mean of course there's some people I guess that don't have like conventional jobs but even they work hard in some ways like you know it it doesn't matter if you are mother looking after children that's even harder like that's way harder than just having a nine to five because the consequences of not doing your job properly are like huge i'll be working hard but that's okay because i really feel lucky to be doing what i love maybe it's approach that's also one of the things that people often ask me like oh my god tomorrow how do you do this i never get tired like my friends do and i think the key is the way i look at things like i look at things by you know like always saying to myself do you know what it could be much worse could always be worse so it's all about the way you look at things one more update hopefully by the end of september because i want to do all the housework while i'm gone i will be able to get rid of that wardrobe at the back there i was already supposed to get rid of it um i need more space i need more organizational space so i have things planned i just don't know when it's gonna happen because it's so difficult finding a builder that wants to work i mean <laughs> most of them that i called or that my sister called are saying that they're 
fully booked so yeah we're gonna just have to keep trying more updates these earrings that i am so obsessed with uh were designed by my friend lucy williams and this is her third collection for misoma you guys know how much i love misoma it's a brand that i love and i wear like you've probably noticed that i worn this horn necklace i think this is like lucy's first maybe second collection for misoma and i have another necklace over here that i'm now wearing every day so this is my current stack and this will probably be my stack throughout the fashion month so really 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 love everything that they have i will link everything below for you guys to check out and that's about it for now i'm gonna go and sort of like sort out some of the mess now tomorrow i'm going to london and i'm going to take you with me i have a little bulgari appointment first thing in the morning then i have to pop by the dior press office i have nails appointment i mean my nails it seems like it's a theme of the videos that i keep saying a lot they look terrible at the moment i need i just need like gel manicure before i go to fashion weeks i just need basically a drive-by appointment but i couldn't get one because karina who i love so much she was too busy and then i have a facial because i also need one my skin's been like all over the place lately i need to give it some attention and care um i've been over occupied with like work and some family stuff that's been going on so i just couldn't really pay attention to myself and tomorrow i'm gonna try and do that even for a tiny little bit and yeah that's kind of me getting ready so tomorrow then day after tomorrow i'll be packing and then we'll probably be finishing this vlog is that enough of an update hope so i'll go and like try and tidy now and yeah london tomorrow it's a new day and i'm ready i have a full day of things to do in London as I've told you and this is me today I've got a grey Isabel Moran suit on the kind of like a casual look you know I've got quite a bit of makeup though because um, I'll be <laughs> speaking to people but I will not have makeup by the end of the day because I have a facial at the end of um, it all and I'm wearing my Varenne bag which is perfect because it fits a lot even my laptop so I can work a little bit on the train and stuff like that and yeah that's it this is a Prada top by the way it's like a body I'm now gonna go go downstairs and then leave and I'll take you with me okay guys I just got it on Guys, we are now in Knightsbridge. I'm heading to Harrods to have a facial. Woo! Right? To have a facial and to get my nails done. And I'm starving. Might kind of go and actually get some food as well because, you know. I've never actually been to the Harrods Moroccan Spa and this is hair and beauty I think but they have also so many amazing brands to shop of course like kind of a beauty haul but a lot of brands that I actually use anyway just had my nails done I'm very very happy can you see no you can't see because the focus is not working uh, I promise I'll show you later where the light is a little bit better because I'm just not in focus now let's go to get my facial done okay guys don't know if you're ready but we are at the wellness clinic in harrods now can i just say how much i love this waiting area here you can see my prominent ligaments that you guys ask me about often and yes my nails maybe get in focus no because my eyes are stealing the light waiting for my appointment my skin after we've had a laser genesis as you can see like this is my perfect skin like rosy cheeks but there's no downtime and this is supposed to stimulate the collagen um so it's gonna cause like new gen like you know the new collagen production and also helps with like pores and in general skin definition and also it's fine for all skin types because you know my skin tends to pigment so it doesn't matter that I don't have like the, you know, like your typical white skin, it's still, laser still works for me as well. I'm gonna have a cardboard mask on, okay? Sure. So it's been in the fridge, so just to pre-gone, it's gonna be cold. What does this mask do? 
So it's illuminating mass. It's packed full of hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. which returns to the hydration in your skin. It's also got illuminators in as well. So it's really hydrating, but gives you that really nice glow. <laughs> facials done i see like some serious glow over here i don't know if you can tell um this was my i would say third nydg facial um third visit to nydg clinic second in harrods and third overall because the first one i've ever visited was in new york so feeling really great no downtime as you can see i'm not wearing any makeup there's my skin but um the final results will be shown um in four to six weeks collagen production Let's go. I haven't had a proper meal today, just a banana, and I've had three like protein balls, kind of this size, like with cashew nuts and stuff like that. And this is going to be like a very big meal salad with some avocado, prawns, a lot of greens at the bottom, mozzarella, tomato, and just spinach leaves. So very excited for this. I'm already on the way back to Brighton because I have a lot of work at home. Okay, there's a huge contrast between my hair and my face because I'm not wearing any makeup except from the eye makeup. Now I feel like I have to so be precise about everything that I say uh, because yesterday I filmed the video and I published it straight away. It's the video in the same knit because that's what I wore last night as well. It was about work ethics, about motivation, about being disciplined working hard and like moving yourself when you don't feel like moving because i had a lot of questions requesting me to be very like brutal and to speak to you guys to motivate you to move and to change your life so i did that and i was very honest i was not like fluffing it up and i was not giving any disclaimers so i was talking and i was expressing my opinions i actually really like stand behind those opinions those are my opinions and you have 100 percent right to disagree with me just like i have 100 percent right to disagree with you because that's the beauty of this world like we fought so hard for everybody to have their voice and we fought so hard for people to have like opinions and to have right to say what they think that that's the whole beauty and it's beautiful that you guys some of you have different opinions it's also beautiful i received so many wonderful comments saying like tomorrow like we love it this is the best video you've ever done probably the video that i've ever filmed that had like more pol most polarizing comments so some people were saying like what's wrong with you like what do you mean people should work more than required like there are people who have like cancer and epilepsy they cannot like be working i also forgot it's my fault 100 percent that on youtube things get taken so to an extreme like so 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 far that like you know like anything that i say or that you say someone can say like well yeah but not in this situation or yeah not in that situation i was just stating my opinion like i um like i obviously said that i think if you want to show that you are better than average you need to work harder than average to show that like you know my kind of point of view is that like tennis player who is number one in the world i'm sure he didn't work as much as number 100 like he worked more than 100 so if you want to be above average like the top tier in the world i said that i think those people work harder than the average i'm like in the average group like if you look at an influencer scene for example i consider myself to be average i don't consider myself to be better than uh, like to be in the top 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 tier but i do work hard i work harder than people who are at some point probably like even on this like if you have a ladder there's probably people who are below me and a lot of people who are above me and i guess i work a little bit more than people here and a little bit more less than people here and um a lot of people send me like very weird comments like not weird just like very drastic people can die from working too hard why are you telling people to work hard i really am not i'm just saying that if you want to excel at something you need to put more work in it and that's been scientifically proven you need to work harder than other people like i don't know if you guys watched or read books about beetles and it says that like the reason behind their success is because they put more hours in singing and working than other bands at that time and i've like read so many books that say the same thing that work is what brings you to excellence it's not just talent so that's what i was saying but of course people were saying like oh like you're saying you don't like people calling sick yes i was saying i don't like people 
calling in sick when they're not sick. I don't think it's you can compare what I said is people saying like oh I have a headache or I have like a stomach ache or a bit of period pain you cannot compare that to epilepsy or cancer people saying like my child is ill like it's like you know it's comparing like really different things so basically my point is that I super appreciate that we have different opinions on so many topics and at the end of the day this is what makes this community so beautiful I'm so grateful also for people who are leaving negative comments because you guys make me better in the way i'm expressing myself and being more precise i was not precise enough you guys make me so much better so thank you for that i still have to say that my opinion is that working harder than the average does make you excel at certain skill and that's just my belief and if that's not your belief, that's fine. Some people said that like the fact that you work more doesn't mean that you don't get your job done. I don't think like we're talking about the same thing because I'm not talking about like accounting, economics. Like, okay, so my best friend, she has masters in economics and she can probably do job in two hours, job that no other people get done in eight hours. She's amazing at it, but that's not the same as singing. So if you put two hours into practicing to sing, it's not the same as if you put 10 hours. And that was my point like or driving lessons why if you're great at like you know learning fast why doesn't anybody just take two hours everybody takes like a lot of hours driving and the more you drive the better you are and it's a known fact and sure some people just have zero talent for it but still the more you drive the better you are so i guess like i just have to give a lot of examples in things that i say for you guys not to, under to understand because of course i was not saying like if i have a cancer patient that I'm like I don't accept that of course not absolutely not I have had cancer patients in my family and it's not only hard on the patient it's hard on the whole family and it's just like really not nice to like assume these things and to like I don't want to take it far but I was not saying that basically that's just what I wanted to say so I hope you guys understand that it's one thing to disagree but it's another thing to like take someone's words and to kind of twist them around anyway this was a bit of a rant oh not a rant i just wanted to actually apologize if i hurt as well any of your feelings i hope i did not because that would never be my intention but also i wanted to say i love you all of you who are so 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 nice saying that was the best video you guys have ever seen that it's super motivating because that was the ultimate goal for me work is like what makes me happy and i know we're not all the same so now I'm gonna like tidy up a little tiny bit because I have some like jackets on the chair. I'm gonna go to bed, wash my makeup. I've got some emails that I have to do, but I was spending some time with my sister, enjoying time, spending time with my nephews. And like, of course, like I was saying, I believe that working a lot makes excellence, but it doesn't mean that I work so much. Like guys, have you seen me? I had like four holidays this summer. I also spent a lot of time with my family, like leisure time and I mean, I, I don't think I work that hard. No, I was not saying like, oh, I work so hard, you need to work hard. No, I was saying like, I think the more effort and the more work you put into something, you get better at it. Good morning, guys. Wow, I look very rough, very rough. I'm still in my pajamas. These are like my old pajamas that my friend Nora designed back in the day. I love them so much and I've got a hoodie, my favorite Louis Vuitton hoodie. On top, I'm actually gonna put it in the wash today because I want to have it for New York Fashion Week, not for the actual Fashion Week, but for travel. Because when I put, obviously not with this high bun now, but when I put the hood on, it covers my whole face. So when I sleep on the plane and I'm an ugly sleeper, it helps. I'm currently um, just browsing online my Teresa, getting last few little bits and bobs that I need for the Fashion Month and having my morning coffee have to go through all the emails we have a lot going on so my team is on my case i woke up to also like a sea of such wonderful messages and like wait let me see if i can show this to you oops look i don't know if you'll be able to see this but people were sharing okay that was me and then people were sharing and sending me the responses to my yesterday's video which okay now which was kind of crazy i just didn't really expect like such polarizing i guess opinions but i'm so grateful um i also also wanted to say like just before there's any confusion and people start pointing fingers that when it comes to my team 
I call like I say employees when I talk about the previous ones and current ones. So when it ha when it, like when I'm speaking about people that I worked with in a team in the past and currently, I've always been so lucky. Like I don't know you guys know Christina. She never called in sick like throughout like the whole us working together like or never said like oh no I'm not gonna do extra work or this or that. If Christina would for example tell me like she needs to go during the working hours to go and pick up her sister in school, I would say of course like no problem. The reason why I said that I don't like when people are calling in sick, it's because I think a lot of people pretend to be sick a lot of time because they're lazy. I don't know if that's something that you have ever experienced in life before, but I have experienced that a lot in work, in school, like throughout my whole entire life. And it's just like the kind of behavior that I don't like and I don't think will ever lead to success. Now, can someone please come and help me tidy a small little mess that I created yesterday? Nina is coming today. I need to look a bit more presentable because I need to film videos today and that's it. That's the plan for for today. I think this video is going to be very long, so I'm sorry. There you can see a skirt that's going to be a piece of my fashion week outfits, but anyway, that's another story. Okay guys, first meal of the day, some yogurt, raspberries, blueberries and gluten-free granola. I'm doing emails, finishing my coffee. One more update, I just launched this shop my Instagram little thing on my blog which I will link below here so you guys can check it out and basically you can shop my looks here. So if you like following me on Instagram and um, I for example wear something then here you can find exactly the pieces that I wore and shop them directly. It's already kind of late, I really need to pack now, Nina is working here and spent the whole day kind of trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear, how I'm gonna do it, and now I need to like figure out my New York outfits. So I'm not gonna show them to you obviously because you'll be seeing that in the New York Fashion Week vlog, but I decided also not to have a rail this season just because I want to have more space. I officially feel and look terrible. From that pretty little room I managed to create a lot of mess but I'm packing and a lot is going on. I really need to do my hair. I need to do a lot of stuff. I haven't applied any makeup today because I'm actually loving my skin after the treatment yesterday. You might disagree, but um, I'm really loving my skin today. I need to wash my hair and then I'm eventually going to have to do some makeup because I have to film a video for this or next week. Uh, we're taking off more around nine, hopefully, and leaving home at 5 a.m. So going to be a bit of a journey but I'm okay I'm ready I still have a few bits to pack and then I'm ready I need to film and it's 8 30 and I have to leave home at 5 so I think what's gonna be the best to do is to stop vlogging now because um it's gonna be a very long vlog anyway thank you for watching next video is going to be I think New York Fashion Week one I really hope you guys will enjoy it this fashion month is going to be different it's going to be filled with little unexpected stops. I think we're gonna enjoy it together. So I'll see you soon, bye.